My name is Sarah Kawesa. I lead Arusha Uganda. For me, the first thing of taking root is people are looking for a witness. If you're telling them to care for creation, they want to see what it looks like. Root is a, well, is a fundamental part of every plant. Plants cannot survive without roots. It, it's both a question of getting grounded on an area, getting their sustenance from the area, but also uh, being able to grow, to flourish, and to give shelter for other species. The issue of being constantly uprooting oneself every time we are transplanting a plant. We are causing trauma to that plant. And I know these days people change a lot. Sometimes we abandon a project, a relationship, just because we think it's going to be a lot easier to move to the next thing. Most of the cases it's not, and it's actually uh, a pain. And the pain lives on, and we carry that baggage with us wherever we go. Creation care was something that was very new in Uganda and strange. What does it really look like in real life? What is the, so what, what is the practicality of it? I had this vision and putting it down in real life was a challenge because if you go to a church or community and tell them that God is telling us to care for creation, they say, what does that look like? And so getting rooted for me was about living by example so that other people can at least walk in my footsteps, but also inspiring um, other people, given the fact that in Uganda our population is very young, so it was important to sort of be a model for what creation care would look like. Apart from being a witness, it's also a testimony. God has given you a vision or you feel a calling that you're called to stand at a particular duty station, am I going to be faithful and stay there through thick and thin? So the importance of the Alvor Estuary is that in a very so small area, it has 18 different habitats, three of which of um, priority conservation importance. It has over 500 species of um, uh, vascular plants, over 300 species of birds, well over 600 species of moths, and 75 butterflies, it's a tiny little piece of heaven in such a small area. So I was there in the estuary for 20 years uh, running the center. We saw people growing in maturity in their faith. We saw couples forming and, and now having children and, and all that. We saw students who were undergraduates and now they are uh, professors at university and working with us and uh, helping us to develop studies on all this. But on the other hand, we also saw major threats to the, to the area, to the landscape, to the habitats, to the species. The major threat to that is, I'm afraid, tourism. Real estate development, that's the major one, because then with the real estate development, you bulldoze the whole area, make it waterproof, and it's no longer what it's there for. The amazing destruction that has taken place in lots and lots of areas around the Algarve has not touched in a dramatic way that area. The place is still, still very much probably as it was two centuries ago. I'll share a little story from a university professor. He once said that the fact that the Alvor area remains as it is, it's a miracle. Truly is because uh, God has brought Arosha there and God has been protecting the area. I probably would like to be buried there, to be honest. I think when we take down root, God is probably doing his own thing. You know, he's uh, maybe using your life to speak to somebody else. You just have to get there and do what you're supposed to do so that other people can um, either copy you or your light shines um, out to them and they'll see the light, they will sort of know where to go. And this is an Arosha decision. This is um, how we view 
uh, conservation that you you grow roots you you are dedicated to a place I think that has made a huge impact I mean the reason for su success success is God definitely but what it's because we've obeyed to God's call on that that we've managed to keep the area as it is it's not a given we cannot ever take it as a given and we must always keep working hard on it but I, I think that's that's the way forward and that's how we should remain and fighting the battle.